When you think of Terminator, the first thing that probably comes to mind is Arnold Schwarzenegger saying those three famous words. But there's one film in the franchise that doesn't feature Arnie. 2009's Terminator Salvation. In this installment of the sci-fi franchise, it's Christian Bale who takes the lead. But he wasn't even the slightest bit interested in playing the part at first. I didn't even bother reading the first draft of the script. I, I just I just put it back in the envelope and said no. I, I didn't want to do it. Um, I, I, I just didn't have any interest. Completely skeptical that there was any need for another chapter in the Terminator mythology. Um, you know, I felt that with uh, all due respect to the filmmakers of number three, that, uh, you know, there's not a single person who ever says that's their favorite one out of one, two, or three. Um, it has spoofed it to a degree that I felt like it had uh, signaled the death throes of the mythology. Um, and so I took a lot of convincing, you know. It took, it took a long time before I came around to seeing that a post-Judgment Day Terminator um, really had some appeal. That's right, because this film takes place in 2018, when John Connor is visited by a mysterious new player in the war against the machines on the eve of a resistance attack on Skynet. This half-human and half-machine character is played by Australian actor Sam Worthington, but was originally written for Bale. Originally, they'd asked me to play the Marcus character, um, who in many ways, you know, is really the more of the lead in Salvation. Um, but I was drawn to, you know, continuing the, the, the kind of legacy that, of John Connor. And if people have an appetite of, for, uh, uh, for this movie and want some more, you know, of being able to continue uh, with that storyline. The young Anton Yelchin plays Kyle Reese in the movie. For the Russian-American actor, that experience was pretty awesome as he grew up watching the earlier Terminator film starring Schwarzenegger. I was a huge fan, and, and to be part of this franchise is, uh, it's just incredible, you know. I, I, I've always loved this, and to find myself on set with uh, models that I used to have as acting figures is pretty incredible. I had Schwarzenegger, I had Schwarzenegger just like half robot, half Schwarzenegger, then I had just the robot. At everything, and so to suddenly be around them is pretty incredible. To prepare for the role, Anton rewatched the first three movies, in which his character was portrayed by Michael Bien very closely. Obviously, I'd known the first two really well, uh, and then I just rewatched them again. And I spent pretty much uh, I'd watch T1 at least a couple times a week, or at least scenes of it that I felt I could apply to the scenes we were shooting. Um, every night basically, you know, watch the movie maybe over the weekend and then watch the scenes every night before we shoot. Michael Bean created a, a character of such incredible depth and, uh, um, and, and, and such complexity with, with this sort of dichotomy of anger and, and pain and courage and strength and at the same time this incredible vulnerability. And to bring that to this character, there's so much work to be done in breaking down what was there and seeing how it would change with time and, and using that. Because Terminator Salvation underperformed at the box office, it's regarded as a failure. However, history shows that unsuccessful movies aren't necessarily bad movies. Compared to the other classic Terminator films, it may have been a bit disappointing for the fans, but as an action flick on its own, it's still a pretty cool film.